Wishbone. Wishbone Entertainment. Right, it's your boy Pat Mendo. We live and direct right here from St. Kicks, 650 Port Chicago. Man, come down and get your shoes. We with my boy. Peter and me. Yeah. East Oakland. Global Rock Entertainment. Representing. So, so let everybody know who you are, man. My name is Peter. I'm from East Oakland. Been locked up 19 years. Just got out like 130 days ago. Uh, Global Rock Entertainment LLC was something that was spawned from prison, but it's been in my mind forever. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm an OG nigga fucking with a lot of young niggas. Rocking my crew, rocking my movement, fucking with my fam, doing what it do, showing up even right here through like some prison connect, fucking with Bro Jackson. What you working on right now, and uh, what, where do you see Global Mafia moving forward in the next couple of years? What I got going on right now is, um, right now, I got this 19 years song that dropped. Mm -hmm. Me and my cousin, uh, SFX ENT Deli, that's Deli Solid Fam, on the ground, you know what I'm saying? It's my blood cousin, through my uncle Ray Lando, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we got a song called 19 Years, and it's like it, it's basically like a synopsis of my whole time locked up. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Everything I've been doing, I was locked up, you know what I'm saying? But in a verse. You feel me? He sing the hook, he got that drip on it, that new shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm an old school nigga. Not you know, sure. I do, I'm always gonna be me no matter what. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? But he got that new drip on it, mm -hmm. and I swear to God, like the song been uh, so well received that it made me like push it, push it even harder than I ever been. I was pushing a lot of music from the pen, mm -hmm. but. The song really like really is true to life. From the beat, the beat was created by J Digi, J Dig, J Digital, Stockton, California. Um, he built the beat from scratch from the first sound. Mm -hmm. From the first sound he threw the beat, he was like, "We gonna cook some up." From the first sound, from this ooh, it's like a little sound. Yeah. From that sound, all the way to the snare, all the way up to the bass line, all the way up to the mixing, all the way, and we wrote the verse from scratch right then. Okay. And really, really, like that, my my cousin Deli freestyle started saying it. Nineteen years saying that mm -hmm. shit. I started writing my shit. It was really it was dope the way it happened. Mm -hmm. That was my first studio session, fresh out the box. Um, and it was like, it was, it was a dope experience. And if you really buy into the 19 years, you know, like the, the, the tone of it for my niggas locked up to my motherfuckers, that's free. Like you would feel it. You would understand that shit. Cause it's more than just a song. It's like a movie. You feel me? Definitely. You know what I'm saying? It's a movie. The video is like a movie. The song, even if you ain't even fucking with me like that, whatever you feel about me is dope enough for you to be like, mm -hmm. the, to vibe yeah, to, you feel me? Sound, I'm saying, yeah. and it's real nigga shit. No, That's my sure, thing. Sure. It's real nigga shit. Like, and ain't, and I, I say this, putting like, 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 real nigga shit is at a premium right now. When you run into a real nigga, whether you a bitch or a nigga, when you run into a real nigga, buy in, invest, whether your time, energy, money, belief, or whatever, invest in that. Because real niggas right now, and like this Graham era, yeah, got like every all the fake niggas is on. Yeah. And I'm not hating on the fake niggas because do what you do to survive, right? Not but sure. at the end of the day, sometimes that real nigga slide through and don't really get that recognition that he deserve because yeah. all the fake niggas is on. You feel me? Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, pressure makes diamonds and you're going to stand out at the end. You all time. You already know. All time. You feel me? All time. All time. And I mean, I just feel like, shit, the mob music's always just been like a, a, a big part of the air, of this whole area coming from Oakland, Pittsburgh, right, 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 to Richmond. Right. It's always just been kind of like the roots, the grassroots, even to the new sound. You feel right, me? Because right, right, you, right. you got your SOB, RBE people coming up, but behind that, there's Kilo Curb and Rapper Right, right, right. So you know, so it's always gonna be, a, it's always gonna be room. Don't for let the me body. know you don't know history, though. Go yeah? ahead, though. Yeah? Go ahead, nah, I love that though. Go you ahead. Know, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Step into it. Step into it. No, I mean, I mean, just talking about mob music, period. You right, know? right, right. So right. there's, it's always open, and we always slap the mob music. So. Right, right. And definitely, man. So. So I know you were dropping verses in jail. You were you you were selling verses. You were it was global mafia up in there too. It was just right. nonstop business. So what what kept you pushing in there? Uh, I mean, because you know a lot of people they say they, they they read books. You're out there basically doing business. Right, right, right. Well, my thing is like perseverance is my best attribute. Mm -hmm. Like if you bury a nigga alive and I'm still alive, I got a chance. Right. That's how I look at it. You bury a nigga alive, I'm still alive. You didn't kill me and bury me. I still got a chance. I'm breathing. Even if it's a little bit of soil moved out the way, let me, I'm barely breathing. It's fucked up, but I'm still alive. Yeah. That's what all my niggas in the box is. The niggas buried alive. Look how we rocking right now, my nigga. My niggas, I don't know if you watching, but he should be right there. Nigga, we on live right now. We doing what we do. You know what I'm saying? My nigga, little man, your childhood friend, nigga, you grew up with. Shout out, right? little man. Shout out, little man. You yeah. feel me? All day. My thing is, is that perseverance is a motherfucker. And I'm going to tell you this. I didn't make a quota for a long time where you said selling verses. I ain't, I don't, I ain't. I hadn't sold a verse in prison, but what I was doing is, whoever went to rock with me, I was absorbing them. People on the streets, I was absorbing them. You don't know how to distribute, like, you don't know distribution? I know it. Mm -hmm. The phone, when you get a phone, if you pay 1500 a band, two bands, niggas know locked up, nigga, they'll rape your ass, and they'll come get that one for the next day, but I wasn't a nigga just watching Pornhub 
and jacking off of him, that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. a nigga like, let me see what Google do. Let me ask nigga Google some shit. You know what I'm saying? Let me do yeah, this yeah. shit. Like, and I was trying to learn because everything in there is about self-help. For sure, you feel me? For sure. So my thing is, is that when I pushed through that, it was youngsters I was running into that that was rapping, that was dope, that was doing whatever the fuck they was doing, even if they weren't even that dope. Mm-hmm. But nobody was going, hey, bro, look, what you trying to do with this? Yeah, right. And as an older nigga, I was doing that with niggas in the pen. When niggas in the pen, I was doing that with like like that. I didn't even had no really love for, but we was in the same car. I, I really would probably do something to you on the streets, yeah. but we all from the bank. For sure. That's how me and little man really connected. Like you know, he from the we from the we we in the bay car, but you know it'd be different sex of the bay car. No, you feel for me? sure. For you sure. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And my thing is, is that when we rock, like you know, weed and money is. That connects us. Yeah. We the sure. money. No. And that nigga was about his paper. Yeah. That's one thing I say. I can say this, my nigga. About you niggas out here, about the, that bread, whatever else, whatever niggas say, <laughs> y'all niggas be about your paper. Yeah, and sure. it was about his paper, and that was what's was connected us. And, and ever since then, it was, you feel me? It was good. No, but sure. just know, bro, like, from the box, doing that shit, you don't really get as much props as you're supposed to. And niggas don't, can't hate on you because you locked up. You can't really hate on a nigga locked up, but you ain't really doing nothing for him. You for feel sure. me? Yeah. But pushing that shit like that, it counted. For sure, for yeah, sure. Yeah. So what, what what would you say to the to, to the up and coming artists right now that's you know, feels like they're going through a rocky patch. I mean, you, you obviously got perseverance, you persevered through a lot. Yeah. And I mean, what what would you tell somebody? Because I mean nineteen years, man, that's not that's not a weekend stay. You yeah, right. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, right. Look, I'll tell the motherfucker this, look. The dopest artist that you know sometimes wake up and go, damn, what I'm gonna do next? Because if you made it and you had a dope song, whether it's a single. I mean, we could think about hella one hit wonders. No, for sure. Look, I was the other day. I was going through like just my own knowledge of Bay Area music. Okay. It's only one motherfucker, at least recently, in the '90s, that went platinum from Frisco. Uh huh. Right before Tay Players Club. Yeah, for sure. But it was a lot of dope shit came out. At that era. Yeah. In that era, it was a lot of dope shit that I fuck RBO Posse, I fuck with them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just, when you think of the entomology of rap, right? So, when I think about, like, all that shit, bro, like, when I think about all that, right? When you putting a motherfucker on, when I'm putting somebody on, I think about that. I think about it in the essence of rap. Like, like I think about that in the essence of rap. If you persevere through something, like me, it's different because you said like it ain't no overnight stay, right? Yeah. If you persevere through something, it ain't really necessarily got to do with just you. It got to do with the people around you. Like think about it. I rocked up here because uh, 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 basically a reference from another nigga that's locked up. But I was with him so close up in there and fucking with him that I came through. You know, you can't really just slide through nigga shit. Mm-hmm. Think about that. You can't just slide through. It might be some niggas out there right nigga. No, you feel no, me? So, so. And look, I rocked up Bolo. Because I just, like, I feel like it's intimate. I feel like it's one of the moments that my nigga sent me here no, is good. No, I feel like he ain't going to set me up like that. Yeah. I fuck with it. And I ain't going to bring no other niggas strangers. I don't know how y'all rocking. Let me no, see no, no. first before yeah. I bring some niggas here. Yeah. Now, I know y'all got some real shit going on. <laughs> Let me send some niggas in to buy some shoes and shit. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah, me? You know what I'm saying? Sure. But at the end of the day, bro, it's like, when I think about the whole movement, like, when I think about everything that what it is, it's deeper than rap. It's more than music. It's more than that. But I, I'm 41 years old. Whatever I done in prison, whatever I done to go to prison, it mattered to like somebody above me. Mm-hmm. If we go through the pecking order, no, for sure. you know what I'm saying? It mattered to somebody above me. So I, my calling is: look, from a young nigga to my niggas in the box, let me pay homage to that. I don't know if I'm gonna get in heaven, but if I save a couple of motherfuckers, hey, at least it's good on my conscience. You feel me? Sure. That's what I look at it like. Yeah. If you trying to get on, if you locked up and it's dope, I'm fucking with you. If I already was fucking with you, even if it ain't that dope, it don't matter. Cause sometimes the shit that I don't think that's dope blow. Yeah. I, I listen to Spotify every day. We bro. Do, and we do live in that era, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We live in an era. You ain't got to be yeah. dope to be dope. You get Superman you that hoe and get Don't do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But my thing is, look. My thing is this, look. I swear to God, look. I'll pay for a service no matter what. Yeah. I, I fuck with some niggas that's royalty. Mm-hmm. There's some royalty in my in my bloodline. You feel me? Like, on, on this rap shit. If, if you go to my gram... If some motherfucker you slide them like, oh, you fucking with bro, you doing this, doing that. I don't even fuck with it like that because I'd be like, okay, if they fuck with me, we'll do whatever it do, but I ain't gonna name drop niggas. I fuck mm-hmm. with them on an intimate level. Mm-hmm. I don't even like to film certain shit because I don't know what this conversation about to be. Yeah. It ain't my movement, right? But my nigga, at the end of the day, all this shit count. Look where we at. 
You yeah. know what I'm saying? I come fuck with my niggas. I, 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 remember I, tell ten, I already told at least 20 people over Westbound Entertainment. Hell yeah. At least Hell 20 yeah. people was like, where you going to go do the what? That, I said in the interview, like, where, you about to get a job? You finally about to get a day job? You know, I'm a nigga trying not to get it. I'm trying not to get that day job yet. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Hey, 131 hey, days hey. out. Let me get the peas or something. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, like, hey, yeah, hey, let me hey, just fall hey, back because hey. I don't know. Because I don't know if I can take no boss. I got PTSD. Prison, fuck you up. Prison, fuck you up, bro. I done flashed it in some in some epic ways. The other people to what's, me it was mild. What's what, what's one of the situations, man? Just some one of the craziest things you've seen up in that motherfucker. And, and there, some of the craziest shit I've seen. Let me see. On a level four, is a motherfucker get butchered by his own celly. I'm talking about like it was good. I seen him at the water fountain talking. They just were talking about his mama and his daughter. They was probably at visiting and hugging and fucking with it, right? That same night, the call came up. Whatever the nigga owed a debt for some hair around, whatever the fuck he was on. Yeah. Bro, rocked up on him. His own celly. Somebody that I was like, hey, gotta watch out for them, them niggas hella close. You gotta watch. You gotta watch out for niggas in twos. Like celly's hella close. Yeah. No, they they ain't never no one on one. If a nigga get to lose, and it's over. Butcher is Sally, but no, with no remorse. And I ain't gonna. He wasn't even. He wasn't even a nigga. He was an essay. Cra second craziest thing I seen was fresh in the pen, Sunnis Valley State Prison. Young nigga, twenty five years old, over a bench. OG's telling me, "Hey, bro, we gonna make when we spend these last we fuck with over here. The woods in the North days is funkin', mm -hmm. right? Wood run up, come out the thing." Five police on him, you know, walking to you, but they ain't got no cuffs on because they play with you like that. Yeah. Over a bench, a park bench. Motherfucker, book across the thing from the police. They ain't got no cuffs on the waist chain. It's five North Days right there. One of them come with the squat, get that thing up out of there, butchering. But he ran over there because it's for this picnic table that was supposed to be somebody's. They didn't debate it over, whatever it is. Butchering. They butchering. No, right? Butchering. Police, like, you know what I'm saying? What it is? It's the Green Wall era, and niggas that's locked up know it's about it's, it's the Green Wall. Butchering, right? I'm over there. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I'm wide eyed, like, oh my lord, this is not the pistol era. I can shoot a nigga from across the street. Mm -hmm. That's over with. It's up close and personal. It's <laughs> real murder. Yeah, yeah. It's real murder, right? Yeah. My nigga, I'm so stupid, though. I'm looking at him. Like, he's gonna give us a thumbs up on a gurney, let us know he's good, like this the NFL or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody start clapping and shit. <laughs> <laughs> is this a movement with yeah, the nigga? Yeah, right. But that, like, I'm saying, like, experiences like that, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. From being booted up with your boots on, your shoes on, your, your clothes on, I still do that at home. From really being a nigga that just boot up early in the morning from that bar lock all the way to when the bar closed at night just because you never know what's gonna happen. Like, just the whole experience of prison, bro, like, like it, it ain't really nothing like it. I wouldn't wish it on my, I'd rather kill my worst enemy than send him there. Because the shit is really the tune, bro. You buried alive. So, really, I, I can't really even single out one singular moment except for those two I named, but, bro, so the whole experience, anybody in the box, any niggas that you got up in there, if you a chick and you ain't going to see your nigga, if you a, a, a bitch that's getting some taxes soon, bless your nigga. If, if, if you one of the niggas, you ain't got to shoot a nigga no money, sometimes just answer on the phone. Sometimes be like, bro, I got some flicks for you. And just saying straight up, bro, I ain't got no dough because I got hella kids Four baby mamas and a possibility on the way. Whatever the fuck it is, do that. And I swear to a real nigga up in there be like, hey, he kept it real. Because sometimes the conversation, look how little man was smiling. Looking, look, looking at y'all. Loving that he, this where he from. That nigga might not never get out. But this right here was a moment that nigga might remember for years. Feel me? Shit. And the weak part about that though, man, is that even living out here, it's just the same way I feel like it's like... Well, we're in the era where motherfuckers get shot watching a movie. You know what I mean? Going to, the, going to go buy some shoes, motherfuckers getting shot Stop walking playing. away. You know what I mean? Both of y'all peep me when y'all pulled up. Yeah, yeah. Up yeah Listen, <laughs> but y'all peep me like this. I don't know. That might be him. Yeah, yeah. And look, had your own conversation. This is what I was on. Like, who is these niggas? Oh, that's the store. I see 650. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I see that, right? But look at that. Like, it was cool. I'm going to go about my business, but let me peep something real quick. Yeah. I think it's like primal instinct. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, it's like an animal before he jumps out into a field, he looks around like, is another animal gonna come eat me? <laughs> you know what I mean? Some You're right. Like that, you know what I mean? Like, think about being a fucking... That's a dope a, analogy. A, you know what I mean? Make sure you get that. That's a dope analogy right there. That you is. Because it seems like it's always predator and prey. Yeah. It's always like that, bro. And and, and, and when you say that out loud to me, because I'm institutionalized, it sounds like the pen. But That's I mean, what it's like, bro. It's a harsh reality. You know what I'm saying? That we yeah. live, we live in a place now, bro, where you go anywhere. Like you, you motherfuckers getting held up at Chuck E. Cheese, got the mouse on the ground and shit. You feel me? You are. Right. And uh, bro, they haven't seen that. Bro. Ain't seen they that, they do the. Uh, you haven't seen that. You ain't seen it. You saying something specific? A real news story? Yeah, they they rushed to Chuck E. Cheese. You know, they had the, the person in the front that gives you a stamp on the floor. Everybody, you know what I mean? So at this time, you don't know what's gonna happen. So you always gotta be, right, right. And, and the thing is, though, like you said, it's it's, it's primal instinct. You know what I mean? I could look. I could post something that's some dope, some raw dope game. 
Africanism, togetherism, consumerism within our people. Like, come, let's buy these shoes, bro, because it's paying these kids and shit like that. Yeah. Like, let's fuck with it. Yeah. But they'll go buy the bullshit, because I don't know. But I can say that, and they get like 49 views. Yeah. But what you just said, the Chuck E. Cheese nigga getting shot, get 400 views with a, you only got 100 followers. Yeah. My thing is like, this the era that we in, and that's why I say like, nigga, real niggas is at a premium. Real shit is at a premium. Yeah. Want me to tell you something, bro? Look, this was going to charge me X amount of dollars to fuck with an interview. Yeah. I would the fuck with my niggas. I would the fuck with my niggas. Yeah. We right here. But what, look, Crush A Lot coming out. Mm-hmm. Valentine's Day, Thug Love song. Uh, me and my nigga Seuss. My cousin Deli, again, you know what I'm saying, on the hook. And Crush A Lot, think about it, that's big pun. We got a little play on that on the hook. Slap that shit. That come out uh, uh, February 14th. We going to Barstow, uh, Victorville. Fuck with my nigga Mr. Ambition on a little show. Uh, February 28th, that's when uh, Real Before Rap dropped. My um, honorary diss song, Slime Ball video. Cuzzo shot this, did that video. Shout out to Solid Shot Films for doing the 19 years. That video that y'all gonna drop, that motherfucker, Real Cinema. Check it um, out. For real cinema, for real. And all that shit count. Um, other than that, Black History, but I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm making it straight, all drop month. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's the leap year. Yeah. 29 days in it. Celebrate that 29th day. Right. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Donald Trump. He probably gonna win the election again. No, bro, he probably gonna win the election again. Yeah, I don't even wanna talk about that. I'm just, I know we already, that's a whole nother topic for another interview. Untold stories. You know what I'm saying? Bro Jackson, what's about his name? Untold stories. Nigga, look, how this nigga stole the election. Listen, bro, that nigga probably gonna be president again, because right now, you can't think think of a Democrat right now that you wanna fuck with. You can't think right now of a Democrat right now. I ain't never voted in my life. I don't fuck with none of them. You know, but you should vote, though, bro. Like, how old are you? 36. You 36, I'm 41. So when I was 16, you was 10. You was my, I was your big homie no matter what at some point in my life. At some point in my life, I was a nigga that you was like, what are you doing? Right, look, listen, bruh, you vote because even if it end up fucked up, you can say, damn, man, I did what I had to do. What's up with you niggas? Mm-hmm. Because sometimes it's a sect of society that does nothing. Trump don't because the, all the trailer park motherfuckers, they come out like, oh, it's a nigga talking our language. You stupid. And they rise up. Mm-hmm. When Obama came, blacks that don't ever vote. Mm-hmm. Hispanics that don't ever vote. Whites that don't ever vote, but fuck with us right. on some urban shit. Yeah. When they seen Obama, they was like, oh, this nigga saying some shit I've been waiting to hear forever. Yeah. And you feel me? And we all came out, bro. We all came out. That's what made Obama so dope. Fuck what you feel about him in the aftermath. He made it so dope that he was saying, like, nigga, for once. Oh my God. Yeah, right. But look, for Trump, he was going, oh my God, you nigger bastards. <laughs> Somehow was like, so I'm finally speaking for him. That shit count, bro. In the right. world of politics, if you got the power to vote and you ain't got no felony, vote. Yeah. Even if you talk shit after, even you say, fuck this motherfucker, <laughs> fuck this soil. Even if you do that, bro, vote. You know why? Because it's just like if you win a riot, you got a riot thing. You know you whoop some ass. Yeah. You seen, and they wasn't doing nothing, but you could still vouch that you did something. <laughs> Colin Kaepernick failed to me because you told niggas not to vote. You said, I didn't vote because I didn't want Hillary or whatever. You should have voted whoever the fuck you was for the lesser evil because mm-hmm. you're going to rock with your nigga if you know you wrong. Yeah, right. If it rock off, you're going to rock with your nigga. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. This whole politics thing is all fucked up. It's bullshit. Everything is politics, yeah, no, though. Yeah, no, Everything like is politics. Bro, just like with this. I'm fucking with my real niggas instead of this. That's politics. <laughs> yeah, I mean, either way, you know, you end up where you need to be. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> off top. Spit you know that mean? shit in. Let you me know, you know you got it. You, know you, you talk this nigga well, huh? You know, you Don't look like you proud over there, bro. You got that. You yeah. see what this sound like? I yeah. got it. I told yeah. you, bro. Yeah, it's the seventh that. one. We do it, man. All we time. do it. Number seven. Lucky. <laughs> you know what I mean? Keep it, man. You keep your eyes peeled for that global mafia shit, man. We we doing it big in 2020, man. Shout out my boy Lil Man, and uh, keep your ears peeled. Westbound Entertainment, bro. We signing out this bitch. Delhi, my nigga. We gonna rock. I told you. He stoking. Fucking with it. Global Mafia Entertainment LLC. We a gang and a mafia. And we also some legit niggas. Don't worry about it, bro. Don't just look at me as the face of the advertisement. It's some other niggas that ain't as menacing. They in the background. Fuck with us. Shout out, shout out, Saint Kick, Seven One Prince, Westbound Entertainment. We out. Murders. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good shit. Oh, uh, we, we just getting this started, man. What you feel, bro? Good. What?